you know, the bones will tell you everything. You know, they really will. I mean, they're just, uh, they're wonderful because they don't change uh, during decomposition and death. You know, soft tissues decompose, start right away, and so you lose things like a stab wound or a gunshot wound. And the thing about bone, particularly a head, is that to get the desired effect, you got to breach it. You know, if you're going to kill somebody, you got to get in there and mess up the brain and the blood vessels. Um, and so, because of that, bone keeps a memory of what happens to it, whether it's gnawed up or shot or stabbed. I mean, it's just a, it's just a, it's a remarkable tissue to work with and have, and and uh, like I said, it doesn't go away. You know, so uh, whereas the pathologist has to be right there with the fresh remains. You know, the longer someone's been dead, the pathologist's interest goes and the anthropologist's interest increases. You know, and it used to be you had a pathologist looked at the soft tissues and the anthropologist looked at the bones. And the two never met until Bill Bass came along. And Bill really married him because he created and graduated over the past 10 or 15 years, 20 years, probably, you know, 10 or 15 or 25 anthropologists that now have an expertise in it, in, in rotting soft tissue. Yeah. And so that's really great. Pathologists learning about rotting soft tissue, they get it like, um, uh, they get it kind of piecemeal. So you know, you start off in your practice and you know, he's retiring and you're replacing him and he, hey doc, tell me about decomposition. And he says, you learn it as you go. And so a body comes in and they open the body bag and it's rotten and they might do a little bit with it. They find out, you know, the detective says, well, that body's been there two weeks or two months or two years. Well, by the time you retire and pass it on to, you know, the grandson, then you say you got to learn it by doing it, you know, piecemeal. And so you learn about decomposition, and she learns about decomposition based on those cases. Well, the thing with Bill and the body farm is you can lay a body down and you can come back the next day and the next day and the next day. So you can watch the whole series of events, and that's what his students have been treated to.